Hello ladies and gentlemen, Signal Grim here and in this video we're going to talk about how to beat boss Aquaman in Heroic without either Heartbreak Harley Quinn League of Arc or Black Manta or Beta Club. So if you have either Heartbreak Harley Quinn, Black Manta or Beta Club then this video is not for you because you shouldn't struggle with this. But if you have none of them then you are going to struggle against this fight and we're going to try and find alternative options with this because I'm in the same situation with one of my accounts and it'll take some time to take it down like don't expect me to tell you oh use the strategy and you will one shot him that's not going to cut it like if you want to do it like that uh, get, get yourself a black mentor or league of Arky or a beta club but if not then we're going to struggle together through this and i'm going to present you some reasonable option that can gradually wear this guy down and eventually defeat him so yeah with all being said let's get into it so I have as I have stated in my previous video, and I'll link that below if you haven't watched it, again this for Heroic where you can't use characters multiple times, in normal difficulty you can just get away with using King and spamming his special one. That's going to be fine for you. But in Heroic uh, you have 6 pips to use and at the same time for the most part King should be used uh, while you're wearing Aquaman Down King should be used as the only pip on uh, the uh, Brainiac Armor Batman. So King is not really an option here because he's better needed elsewhere. So with that be out of the way, the Just League is yet again a pretty decent option, but we're not going to talk ex extensively about them in this video since yet again I've covered them in the previous video, link down below. But today we're going to... Uh, kind of uh, tackle the side of damage on special one and we're going to use three characters that will deal damage on special one and on which upgrading their special one will not be a waste of resources anyway. Multiverse Armor Supergirl, you need her special one upgrade anyway for the Captain Cold fight and uh, on top of that uh, it will receive a bonus against might opponents which the Aquaman is indeed a might opponent. So that's going to be one of our picks. Again, we'll get into gameplay with her. Batman Jack Catwoman special one need to be needs to be eventually upgraded because you are going to end up using her uh, uh, with double all blades with Batman Jack Ragrod in normal raids uh, maybe if Beta Club gets nerfed or something. But yeah, her special one is also an option uh, and something that you will eventually want to upgrade anyway. So it's not a waste of credits putting points into it. And Silver Bench is going to be the last pick since yet again, if you are using the Reverse Flash strategy, upgrading the special one is going to be a very good thing and uh, if you put the points uh, the credits in that is not going to be a waste so those are going to be the three teams that we're going to cover and yet again don't expect huge amounts of damage don't expect one shot it this will be something like how to gradually wear it down and eventually kill it because if you want to one shot it just get yourself a black man or a league of anarchy but if you can't then let's get into it okay so we're starting off with the silver banshee team and as i said you're very likely to already have your server bench upgraded uh, special one because that's uh, kind of not necessarily mandatory but thing that you should do if you're using her as a damage there with reverse flash and the strategy is to use all blades on her and you, don't, don't be like i don't have all blades this is already heroic one tier five if you don't have all blades and you made it here then you're going to be fine with the, without the old blades here as well but yeah, the strategy is pretty much you tag in and you do a lot of basic, you do a full combo and then you use the special one. And in theory, you could do two other things. In theory, you could tag in straight into a special one, back off and use another special one. But that's not going to be ideal since uh, Aquaman is going to unfortunately have uh, a long range special, that being the special two. So using a special one, then backing off to use another special one, while it could be done in the window of only one tag in, and it could be done uh, upon four tab stacks, it's going to be too risky for it to be worth doing. And the other strategy is to just uh, tag Silver Banshee in and literally keep her in uh, without tagging her out, but that kind of requires to have uh, like high level or multiple Rise of Krypton artifacts. I have tried this strategy already because I do have uh, uh, like uh, two level four Rise of Krypton artifacts, which are going to help me quite a bit with staying alive in that situation, uh, but uh, uh, I simply found the damage that uh, I did unoptimal and I found this strategy with using all blades like this to be the more optimal thing to do. And the thing that, oh that was a close one by the way, and the thing that you really keep in mind is to go step before tagging in Silver Banshee. Go stepping means that you will do your combo with Flash ending in a swipe right and then tapping one more time right after a swipe right before tagging in Silver Banshee. And with Silver Banshee you are going to want to do a full combo, uh, tag in, swipe right, tap three times, swipe right and then into a special one. If you do... Uh, not do the full combo then you're putting yourself at risk uh, of not being able to tag in before king is going to use something and if that something is going to be a special two then your silver bench is going to be a gunner 
Over here it was a risky one because I barely made it in before he uh, was able to hit me. But yeah, this is not going to be, uh, as I said, none of the strategies in this video are going to be the best strategies. Like, the best strategies are League of Anarchy, Heartbreak, Harley Quinn with Arkham Knight, Batman, and uh, Black Manta with uh, Beta Club, or even without Beta Club. But as I said, if you are watching this video, then most likely you don't have access to that most optimal strategy, and this is going to be the next best thing for you. And there are a lot of characters, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of characters that could do the strategy with uh, a special wall upgrade and only using it. But my logic is, uh, you're going to have a silver bench upgraded anyway, if you don't and you upgrade one then it's going to be useful for you anyway. And you anyways are going to eventually need to upgrade her special one. And yeah, this is pretty much it, it's not, let's, let's say, the perfect fight. And by the way, use super move, like in this fight super move is going to be like a pretty huge uh, margin over damage, 15.5 million. By the way, having a level 10 tab and uh, like uh, a level 4 uh, Lexcorp armor. So that's a thing to keep in mind. Because I'll get boosted a little bit from that, but if you have none of those uh, mentioned and only one all blades, and let's say you have the Rise of Krypton Spear equipped as a support artifact, definitely equip it as a support artifact, not as a main one, then you'll most likely deal like 1 or 2 million less damage. And the other thing is going to be the Batman Ninja Catwoman. Like, Batman Ninja Catwoman, as I said, might eventually need her special one upgrade anyway, and her special one is not going to deal uh, low damage at all. And keep in mind, the thing that I'm using over here barely can be called a like bad ninja catwoman because she's missing three gears she's got a garbage build like she doesn't even have to find percent critical attack damage so don't take the damage that i'm doing here as like a threshold of damage you'll be able to do far more and yeah if you have beta club or something then you're going to have a very good time with this thing but i don't have so i'm going to use the old blades and use a special one with bad ninja catwoman i do know that uh, it could synergize well with bad ninja gorilla growth special one and i could just stack both of them in and out uh, both of them doing special one both them with all blades but uh, there are two problems one uh, i don't have gears on gorilla Grot, so he doesn't do damage two i don't have gears on gorilla Grot, so he will not survive so uh, it is what it is and we're going to just count on catwoman to deal the damage here and that's uh, that's pretty much the entirety of the stretch you just tag in and do a special one a thing that you need to keep in mind is first of all use her special one as soon as possible but uh, her, sp her super move as soon as possible but before using super move keep using special ones because they're not going to take a huge chunk of your energy and you got plenty of energy anyway so you're going to be fine like j just tag in using special ones until you see that sp uh, super move icon pop up and then use it and the second thing is you need to be a little bit more careful with catwoman because with Catwoman, uh, as I have noticed, you tend uh, in general to not be very careful with because usually she will have special 2 active at all, at all times on the opponent. Special 2 being that uh, constant dot damage on the enemy that procs a uh, little damage increase and heals, her, and heals her as well. But over here you will not have that because uh, he doesn't take damage from a special 2. So this will be one of the only instances in the entire game where Batman Jack Catwoman uh, becomes uh, a normal damage there that's quite not forgiving to mistakes and only one mistake can uh, eventually end the entire fight. So that's something that doesn't happen often you need to keep in mind here. Careful your Batman Jack Catwoman because unlike most fights over here she can die. And uh, as said previously, like equip your other two characters with whatever you got in terms of Rise of Krypton Artifacts. If you don't, that's fine, just equip a spear. Everybody's got that if you got all the way to this point. If you defeat the normal difficulty. And just Batman Jack Catwoman with all blades and just tag in and out and do your best to deal some decent damage. I don't know, like th this fight is very unfair and unforgiving if you don't have uh, uh, Black Manta or League of Anarchy. But it is what it is and the total of uh, is going to be... 12.6 uh, million damage, again, not a huge amount of damage, but getting there, eventually getting there, that's the only thing, moving forward, that's the only important thing. Okay, over here we're going to use Multiverse Armored Supergirl. And uh, I'm using, uh, you don't have to use Shazam here, like I'm using Shazam because uh, Aquaman goes without Shazam against uh, the uh, bat boss Batman, like the, 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 the purple armor Batman, right? King goes there without Shazam and Shazam was just free, Shazam is not mandatory here. And we're going to pretty much use Multiverse Armor Supergirl to constantly use special ones uh, upon the boss Aquaman. Because as I said previously, it's going to be a special one so he takes damage from it. And at the same time, uh, he's going to take increased damage because the special one deals increased damage to my opponents. And sometimes it's going to be like a pretty decent chunk of damage. 
Uh, the only problem with this fight is that it's not the most linear fight in the world and you might have some difficulty overall with uh, uh, the uh, Aquaman being annoying. And also some uh, Captain Cold fight habits might get in the way because uh, the Captain Cold is a uh, fight so hard to learn that you kind of form a habit around the multiverse team. Uh, they are uh, definitely use the super move as well, it's going to be a decent chunk of your overall damage and it's worth doing and you don't need that much uh, energy anyway. And yeah, like I'm using special ones, but uh, from time to time you'll see me using a special tree that will deal a huge amount of damage uh, to King. Uh, that's total us up to one damage. Why am I doing that? Because I need the critical attack damage from the special tree. I don't need the crit chance because I have max crit chance only by having flash and my fifth gear. But in terms of crit damage, uh, having that additional critical attack damage really helps in terms of damage. And at the same time, it doesn't only increase her damage on special one because we have that crit damage from the special tree. It also increases the uh, damage uh, on basic attacks for both herself and Flash. So you're going to be far better off uh, using that uh, as well from time to time. Just trying to keep it up. Like over here you'll see me just doing it while I'm very far away from him and I missed it. And yeah, huge mistake over there. I missed the uh, one damage. Uh, but the important thing is uh, to keep those buffs up. And it's not like something that's... Uh, as concerning as let's say the special one burn because like in the captain call fight in normal race you need to constantly keep that special one burn uh, and if it expires you need to apply it two times again it's going to be like uh, fight ruining over here if it's not active it's okay just remember to activate it upon the next tag and don't worry too much about it but it's definitely worth doing now a special one, like depends on the combo, and some special ones uh, I deal all the way to 800k damage, on some special ones I deal all the way to lower than 500k damage. Again, it is what it is, and the total damage will not be a huge amount, but uh, when, you're, when you don't have many options, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, and uh, anyways, I did... I I don't really have anything else to use this team on because everything except for the boss bat I, I guess I could use them on boss batman but everything is pretty much dead except for this dude but yeah the total amount of damage is going to be 12 minutes yeah, it's not huge. Yeah, I'm slowly not getting huge. there but uh, thank you for watching make sure you check the previous video if you haven't linked in the description and with all that being said uh, I'll hopefully see you all in the next one make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed it